He relied on his programming talents to write a string of virus code, attaching it to a fake work email, and sends it to the vice president of the bank. The vice president received the email, clicked on the attachment. The virus instantly invaded his computer. After everyone in the bank had left, Mike rushed to spread the virus throughout the office via the president's computer. His main objective was to obtain the system password for the central mainframe. And sure enough, the secretary came to work the next day to find a blue screen on her computer. She immediately called Jack, the head of the network technology department. Jack reboots the computer. He entered his account system password unawares, unaware that this was a trap set by Mike. With the virus recording the system password, Mike easily hacked into the account system, gaining access to the bank accounts, and then deducted a penny from each of the 9.5 million accounts, and marked it as a service charge. But surely the $95,000 couldn't be transferred to his own account, so he had a brilliant idea. He transferred the money to a shell company account with no financial transactions. This way, 